Salt Lake City officials are calling the attempted demolition of an historic building unacceptable. They stopped crews who had torn down the front of the Fifth Ward meeting house here. As new specialist Shelby Lofton tells us, there was no permit making this teardown illegal. City leaders said they approached the workers who were here on site yesterday morning. They said they find the timing of this whole demolition very suspicious. I drove by and saw the trees were down. A quiet Easter Sunday was disrupted by the sounds of tumbling brick and smashed glass. I thought that maybe they were giving it attention. What architectural designer Casey McDonough actually saw was a demolition. That particular building, the Fifth Ward, uh, the LDS Church at the time would have their members help build those buildings. The meeting house was illegally being torn down until city officials stopped it. They claimed that they had a permit and they were like, well, we looked, you don't, and they got in a truck and drove away. Planning director Nick Norris said there was no permit issue. Well, it's 100% unacceptable. The building has been used as a house of worship, music venue, and community space. It's a designated local landmark. These buildings are really important to us, and we're not going to tolerate people working outside of um, the process. Part of that process is having the public weigh in. People would have been able to, you know, tell their stories and make their arguments. McDonough said it's buildings like this one that set Salt Lake City apart. It's original. There's no duplicates. There's no cookie cutters. Norris said the owner will have to save it unless they can prove there's an economic hardship with the property. The only way they can remedy this is to essentially restore the damage. He says the owner will face multiple fines. Real estate developer Jordan Adkin was cited in the city's stop work order. He wrote on X that he's actively working to figure out what happened. We need to hold them more accountable because it sets a precedent in historic preservation. Officials said rules are in place for a reason. It certainly destroys whatever trust the city has in, in issuing permits to that individual. A request for comment from the property owner went unanswered. In Salt Lake City, Shelby Lofton, KSL 5 News.